On a remote Canadian lake, I'm on the hunt for a giant muskie. This elusive fish appears to match eyewitness reports of a sinister lake serpent in every detail but one. Lengthwise, it falls far short of the 20-foot beast that people say they've seen here. Ah, yes! But maybe the fish on my line will provide the missing piece of this puzzle. It's a toothy predator, though not yet the one I'm after. This could be a good sign, uh, the pike are feeding. But to be honest, the fish that I'm after could inhale this in one mouthful. The northern pike is a fast, aggressive predator. But for a big muskie, this would be little more than a bite-sized snack. As the hours pass, I try every conceivable combination of lure and location. I think there's a pike on. Here we go. I'm having absolutely no problem attracting pike. Another bike. Oh. But its bigger, uglier brother is nowhere to be seen. Another bike. It's a bike again. I catch pike after pike. It's a struggle to stay focused. And then, to compound my frustration, oh. I'm impaled Ooh, by my own hook. Yeah. I'll just take it. Yeah, that's good. Ah, the pike's off. I hooked myself. The best hook up all day, myself. I got off lightly. The good thing was that that pike actually came off. It wasn't attached to my arm and flapping around. Well, if that had been a muskie, and if that had stayed attached rather than unhooking itself, I could be in a lot more trouble. Something grabbed him and tried to pull him under. Well, this is a lake trout, a predator in its own right. It took a spoon.